morphology and syntax let's see the relationship of morphology and syntax there was a time when these two disciplines you used to come under one heading grammar so it was grammar that would discuss syntax arrangement of words and morphology the structure of the words already seen inflection and syntax are intimately related to one another inflection is the realization of of morphosyntactic feature through morphological means so morphosyntactic features when we add s to a noun we may we give it syntactic feature right so inflections are used for this morphosyntactic uh, uh, operation morphosyntax deals with the relationship and interactions between morphology and syntax a variety of topics in morphosyntax include morphologists and syntacticians definition of inflection how do they both define inflection structural con constraints on morphological inflection that what are the binding factors on inflections inflections and universal grammar that the grammar which basically is uh, inbuilt in all human beings and grammatical function changing morphology and what are the uh, factors that change different structures and what morphological aspect change different structure we'll see to it since our target audience consist of students as your student and this is probably first course so you have to take help from all other areas that you have studied so far from phonology from uh, grammar so you whenever you encounter any difficulty with any term you better uh, better understand it through dictionary or through or you can easily google it and can have better understanding so since our target audience uh, you consist of uh, a little knowledge in this field uh, whose only exposure to syntax comes from an introductory course in journal linguistics we avoid bringing in advanced syntactic analysis so you have only studied morphology and syntax in your introduction to linguistics so we are not discussing the advanced theories of the uh of morphology we have not yet discussed we are di discussing obviously i can understand that certain things will be difficult for you but as i said that you can seek help uh, uh, uh through dictionaries and through your understanding of the previous topics that you have studied according to the traditional view the relation between morphology and syntax is the following while morphology builds up word forms go and go on typically by b combining roots with other roots play played played right road written and with affixes boy boys but also by applying other operations to them right so it also applies other affixes to the stem and makes certain words it change certain sounds syntax takes fully inflected words boys play cricket so it takes boys which is which is made by our morphological lexicon as input and combines them into phrases and sentences the division of labor between morphology and syntax is thus perfect morphology only operates below the word level whereas syntax only operates above the word level it arranges the word into a certain order these two components of grammar are ordered in strict sequences there is always a certain sequence which has to be followed to make it an understandable and well formed sentence such that the syntax take over after the morphology has done its work it is morphology that that chooses to put a certain uh, affix to the beginning of the stem or to the ending of the stem and how different order is to be given between muff, uh, 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 inflections and derivations so where derivation affects is to come and where uh, inflectional affects is to come it is the realm of morphology and when morphology has done its part 
so it is given to the syntax so syntax arrange words according to its own rules so there is a very strong if, uh, relationship between uh, morphology and syntax right but they have different dials they have their own areas of working